All right. Hey there, everybody. Jason back again. Uh, sorry for the break recently uh, from streaming. I just had a little bit going on, and so <laughs> I just haven't been able to get to it. But I picked up a new game recently, and it's uh, Disgaea 5 Complete uh, for the Switch. And so I figured we'd start with that one. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, so tonight, really, what I want to do oh, is download an update for it, I guess. Is um, <laughs> I want to show off the intro and then basically do a little bit of the story and uh, see where we go from there. Um, I've played this guy before. Um, I actually own most of the games in the series. I just haven't ever beaten one. <laughs> um, but I know that they're a lot like that uh, Final Fantasy Tactics type game, which I played a long time ago. And uh, I'm a big fan of like uh, things like Advance Wars. So if now is when my cat wants attention. Uh, I figured that this won't be that bad, so why not get into it? Hey, shush. Now is not the time. Just make sure that uh, if there's anything about subtitles that they're on. Guess not really. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Anyway, I don't really know that much about the fifth one at all. Um, like I said, it's been forever since I've played. A netherworld crisis of extinction level proportions was perpetrated by the demon emperor, Lord Dark. The historians of Hey, will you quit it? You're being way too noisy. It's Prinnies and Demons. It's reckless of you to evade the territory of the lost. I don't know which netherworld you're from, but we're going to put you in your place. Thank God for uh, actual voice acting for part of this. Madam Serafina, at this rate, they're going to annihilate us, dude. <laughs> dude. What did you just say? Oh, there's some fan service. <laughs> I do like the art style for these games, though. First of all, it's impossible for us to defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark on our own, dude. Hmm. Well, it's against my upbringing to sully my own hands. This once, I shall unleash my overload power, Baylor Gaze. Yeah, now now's the time to eat. <laughs> Such emotion. <laughs> you destroyed an entire squad of the lost army single handedly. Tell my friends. And love was born. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Some rock and music. Lasers. Cute anime girls. Mysterious dark men. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I do like the art style, and the animated bits are definitely really good. Gold printies? Well, let's hope that I don't suck at this game, too. <laughs> but I'm excited to get into it. Um, part of the reason why I picked it up is because I felt like it'd be a nice addition to the Switch, um, being that I usually play it when I'm not home. Uh, this game like offers like a very, very uh, large amount of content to it, so why the heck not? And it's pretty simple in its concept. Uh, maybe execution takes a little bit more practice and skill, but uh, it's one of those games that wouldn't be too bad to like pick up and put down if I have to. Oh, sexy sax. Episode one: Prelude to Vengeance. Sir Killia. <laughs> I am not dressed for this type of activity. <laughs> You've trapped yourself in love. Why? See, you can't even dodge a simple attack. You must be exhausted, Sir Kilia. If you keep pushing yourself like this, you will never defeat Team and Emperor Boy Dark. Would you quit it? <laughs> they trapped him. <laughs> oh my. Somebody's quite sure in herself. Oh, I like those zombie maids. <laughs> They're, cool. They're so adorable. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do her voice, so. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Pocket Netherworld, Sir Kilia. You can walk around in here by using the left stick. When you want to talk to me or the other citizens, then stand in front of them and press the A button. If you want to change the view, press L and R to spin the camera, or press Y and L and R to change the zoom. This is the Netherworld Hospital. When you're injured, come here to treat your wounds. And this is the Rose and Queen Co. They sell weapons, armor, and recovery items that you need for battle. So when you want to go outside, please talk to the Dimension Brinny. Of course, I'll go with you. <laughs> Alright, so... Camera control. Hold Y and change zoom. <laughs> Fashion manager. A bunny suit. Yes. You're naughty, Circilia. <laughs> My, what an injury. You must have been wounded during a battle against the Lost. Oh, I got this scar when you shot me. Sir Kitty risked his life to protect me from the loss because he was seduced by my beauty. 
<laughs> yes, I know how you feel. You don't have to feel embarrassed. It's natural for men to kneel before me. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Now then, let me to reintroduce myself, since I am going to be your master. I am the wealthiest in all the three worlds, the Princess Overlord of Gorgeous Seraphina. The previous overlord, my father, tried to arrange a marriage to take an, of convenience between my, between me and Dark and Void Dark. I got pissed, so I ran away. You're an overlord, but you ran away from home. What kind of overlord are you? If Void Dark wasn't in the picture, I never would have had to dirty my feet in blood parch. That's why I'm out here to get revenge on Void Dark. He humiliated me. You call that getting revenge? Anyway, fine. I don't have any interest in who you are. Do whatever you want. Oh! Not so fast. You are my servant. Oh, jeez. This is interesting. I'm Madam Seraphina's assistant. I've served with Madam Seraphina since she was little. And I have treated her like my own daughter, so I'll kill a dirty insect like you if you try to put your hands on Madame Serafina. Okay. Ever since Void Dark appeared, many nether worlds have become so brutal, the nether worlds have changed, dude. Back in the day, you were able to enjoy being evil and live in the relaxing life of a demon, dude. Play video games for three days straight, not wash your hands after using the bathroom and lick a girl's recorder. Dude. <laughs> ah! I want those days back, dude! <laughs> Obey or die. You don't have much time left. The Lost Army publicity. Alright, so this is obviously our little hub world. Old Bamboo Spear has been obtained. Well, those are cool characters. A uh, trophy baron. Water pistol. Recruiter. Oh. Strategy assembly. Yeah, the uh, the zombie maids are my favorite so far. <laughs> See if I can't find any more of the treasure chests before I uh, go off into the next area. So that's quests. What the heck is this? Nether Research Ship Ranger, a ship that has discovered many nether worlds in the past. Okay. I like that um, Seraphina's outfit changed in the actual game world uh, when we changed it. Uh, paw gloves. <laughs> Alright, so she seems like she has something important to say. I just remembered, Sir Killian. Yeah, I'm on top of it. That's my Circilia. Oh, she's talking about saving. Okay. And that's it. Where would you like to go, dude? Are you finding my pocket another world comfortable enough? It didn't change her outfit here though. I don't have any time to waste in a place like this. It's slightly disappointing. Haven't you ever heard that an army marches on its stomach? <laughs> you're more of a than you project, Sirkilia. Well, as long as you're strong, it matters not to me. Gourmand. This pocket netherworld is Sirkilia's in my love nest. Please feel free to use anything here. Just so you know, I have no intentions of asking anyone for help. That is simply not possible. You see, Sirkilia, you and I of fate. It's more like a bloodstained leash than a 
Oh, he's in trouble. And what if I do? <laughs> All men are destined to become my obedient servants. Ha! <laughs> Love magic. Hot magic didn't work. <laughs> now you will find me irresistible. Even if you are an overload, you cannot resist the temptation of my overload power, failure gaze. What are you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> It failed, so let's just do a thing. Alright, barren wasteland where hardly ever rains. The plants absorb blood to grow. Alright, that's the only place I can go to. Dried up wasteland. So I guess we're going to learn how to play. Oh my god. She is such a Nimrod. We are cracking down on anyone who looks suspicious and taxing them. Aristocracy. Because she's broke. What are you talking about? You're gonna have to Not a single chance. That's exactly what he's telling you to do. You have no choice. Way too long. <laughs> Let's find out if we can. Sure, why not? It's been forever since I played. I don't know if it's true or not, but let's start with the basics, since you claim you never fought before. Tutorial Basics of God. First, place the cursor over the base pen. Next, select the character you want to dispatch. <laughs> One of them's name is <laughs> its husband. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've only got bad feelings. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that I might know more about this game than I thought that I did. A whole bunch of almost nothing. I can control my servants as freely as I want. That's right. Register action. Execute. Remember this flow. But why can't you attack right away when you select attack? That's a great question. Because it takes strategy to pull off team attacks and combos. Tutorial Team attacks and combos. Now let me teach you about the <laughs> Let's just watch this a bit and learn. Let's go. Neil. Are you ready? Yeah. Ah. Okay, that was interesting. You give up. Why did you press it? With the button. Okay, let's actually do this for real, shall we? So, we need some people. Let's start with Sir Killia.
And get somebody else out here. Might as well use the uh, combo attack that they showed off. <laughs> And then we can get Jeff. What type of attack do these guys have? No, it's side to side. Okay. I should probably move a little bit. Wait, why can't I move on top of the cactus? <laughs> we'll get Jun. And then we'll get Pam. Oh, she's a range attacker. Okay, move. Okay, so I suppose I can actually just uh, execute now, right? Let's go. Hey. Let's go. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Interesting. So, if I move her to... Because she hasn't technically attacked yet. Okay. Very interesting. So, but that's... Actually, I should move the printy. Because now... They won't be in the uh, more... Like, the best spots for the next turn. Private Perini. Essentially move her back one. Attacking them. And let's put him here to attack them and then execute okay I, I guess I was expecting something different to happen <laughs> victory I've won Well, for your first time. At this rate, you'll be used to this very soon. By the way, there's something on the ground. What are those things? Those are the spoils of battles. They're called b stage bonuses. The prizes you earn for clearing a stage depend on how well you performed. During a battle, depending on the unit's actions, the bonus gauge will fill. The more it fills, the more prizes you get. It's this gauge, right? What can you do to fill up the bonus gauge? You can fill the bonus gauge by defeating enemies with combos. You should seek to attack an enemy consecutively with multiple allies. I see. So the more people you fight with, the easier it is to charge the bonus gauge. And what is this one-time bonus? 
The one time bonus is set for every stage. It's a bonus that you can only get once if you completely fill the gauge. Most of the times it's better than the other prizes. Until you get it, the one time bonus will remain. If you fail to obtain it, keep trying until you get it. Well, what a good value. Let's completely fill the bonus gauge! You can check the bonus list from the menu to see all the bonus items you can get from the stage. If there is a bonus you really want, then you should try to f you try your best to fill the bonus gauge. I also like that end level stage. <laughs> She's wrapping up the guy completely in bandages. Alright, so I guess I got an unopened soda and six experience. Oh, hey, Pam is the third MVP. Oh, there's the bunny suit. See, that's a lot cuter than the other one. <laughs> this is awarded to the MVPs of the stage. The characters who contributed the most to filling the bonus gauge are awarded here. They'll be rewarded with bonus EXP and mana for their efforts. It's a shortcut to getting strong. I'll keep the strategies for filling the bonus gauge in mind. Seraphina actually got, like, a lot. I'm wondering if she's just a lot lower level. Kelia! You can now use the recruiter, dude! <laughs> hey, sorry. The preparations took longer than I thought. At the recruiter, you can recruit personnel that suit your requirements. If you feel understaffed, come to me. But great timing, Sir Kelia. Let's take a tour. You can never have too many servants. <laughs> Priver. Captain Meaver. A captain in the Spock at Neverworld. Meaver. Speak to Dimension Prinny to go wherever you want. Also, we're busy planning facilities for the next pocket world. Uh, for the pocket netherworld. This is going to take some time, so please stay tuned. Item world. I think I remember this. Uh, well, netherworld hospital. Fully heal all the damage you've taken in battle. However, I will have to charge you for the amount of HP and SP recovered. But I do have a reward system where I give prizes for frequent customers. Get hurt, but don't get annihilated. Alright, so I might as well revive, revi heal all of them. Uh, carry weapons and pow power up characters and armor that builds defense. It's all up to your taste, but when you buy, you should always consider the balance between weapons and armor. When buying weapons, I recommend that the character specializes in uh, A and B. Okay. Uh, the proficiency level will grow quicker for a character who is equipped with a sword that specializes in swords. As the proficiency level grows, they will learn sword skills, but they will learn them faster if they specialize in swords. <laughs> Also, whether they specialize in it or not, if you unequip a sword, you can't use sword skills. Re-equip it to use it. In the beginning, it's best to equip your favorite weapon to train with it. For further details about weapons, talk to Gen in the pocket netherworld. Generally, the more expensive the armor, the better it is. But it will also damage your wallet, so think about that before buying. They handle shoes that enhance jogging, and finally glasses that do not boost your jumping. So please, wear what you like. Thimbles and rubber gloves. <laughs> and they're gloves. Okay, replica sword and rusted swords. Doesn't it tell me... Oh, he's just using his fist. Oh, it's an actual, like, punch weapon. Okay, so I can either use... <coughs> Excuse me. Did I just buy it? I think I did. Okay! <laughs> uh, I'll buy one other. Actually, let's just buy two more. And then... 
I think I have one of these, but I'll get one of these just in case. Toy bow just in case. I got one of these guys. I can always get one of these. Let's just get like, sort of one of everything. <laughs> because why not? Oh, it's a cute wand. I can give a pretty one of these. Unfortunate metal. It's got someone else's name engraved on it. <laughs> okay. Wrinkly clothes. And a pot lid. Glasses would probably be good for a ranged person. Power belt is good for somebody that has that kind of attack and speed. Okay, whatever. We're going to play around with what we do. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to worry about items just yet. Not worried about spells. Let's go to the recruiter and let's see, at least see that we can get like one or two more. I think I actually have to pay them to actually hire them. If you want to increase the number of characters, select the top option, higher character. You'll need an HL, or hell, uh, to recruit them. But I'll give you the first one for free. My, how lucky of me. Sir Kilia, let's try recruiting. Very select, select, select a cast you'd like to recruit. My, the variety, it's smaller than I thought. Why can't I just recruit a strong dragon? If you haven't earned the trust of, of their class, then they won't let you recruit them. Eventually, classes will support you if you solve the quest they submit, or if you get famous from fighting the lost. Let me briefly talk about the different classes. First, a warrior Valkyrie, their duties is to fight on the front lines. Warriors use their endurance for close combat. Female, unlike the male, has high speed and specializes in hit and runs. She's also good with a bow. Next, magician witch, they use magic from a distance. If you use the magic to the enemies weak to, expect high damage. The magician has stronger magic, so he is useful for fighting strong enemies, although he burns through SP quicker. So don't use too much magic and run out of SP uh, before the boss arrives. The witch lacks magical power, but she uses SP more efficiently, so she can use magic nonstop. Some demons are ridiculously strong against physical attacks, so you want to make uh, you want a magic user in your party for sure. Next, the monks, they're experts with the fists. They mainly fight by taking the enemy's attack and counterattacking. The males aim for strong counterattacks, while the females are speedy and evade attacks for a truly offensive style. Next, the cleric clergy, uh, the healers. Their combat abilities are weak, but they have a key role in healing allies. I wouldn't want to fight in my in a party that doesn't have any healers. Males specialize in support magic. Uh, in addition to healing, they can cure ailments while they heal. Females have a really strong healing ability. When fighting a strong enemy, she will be a great help. Also, as they level up, they'll learn the all-inclusive curing spell, Espoir, which will be of great help. Ailments are basically cured by use of that spell or the item Fairy Dust. You should learn it as soon as possible. Next, the maid. She specializes in using items, and she can use items on top of doing other actions, so she serves many roles. Also, she can use the attack item, Throwing Knife, and then attack after that. Lastly is the Prinny. Monster characters like Prinnies are different than humanoids. The biggest characteristics of monsters is that they can use the magic change... Magic change? Magic change? What a weird word. A uh, command to become a humanoid's weapon. The type of weapon they become through magic change depends on the monster's race, so make sure the weapon suits the ally. I said for introductions. I said a lot, but if you have a magician, witch, and a clergy cleric, you're fine for now. All right, so let's take a quick look at which one we actually get first. Give me just a second. Apparently I'm getting late night burritos. Uh, all right, so they are correct. Magicians would be great, um, and so would a cleric or a clergy. But honestly, I kind of want like a monk too. <laughs> Fight mistress. 
Okay. I'm just going to keep the names. Even down to the name? Eh, the worlds are huge. Surprisingly, we can. All right, search for a name. A, 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 A. Oh, there are actually quite a few. This is getting sad, dude. All right, next, select the capability. The better the capability, the stronger the demons will be, but it will cost you. It's free this time, right? Yes, but you can only select between good and good for nothing and incompetent. <laughs> My, how cheap of you. All right, we're going to get an incompetent one. <laughs> next, the stats of the demon you want to recruit. Even if they're the same class, if one has a higher capability, then their stats will be higher than average. If their class prides itself for this strength, you can ask for one with even more stamina. With more strength, or maybe even with stamina. On the other hand, low capability monsters may have lower stats than usual. It all depends on the class. They're truly helpless. Okay, so... Oh, this... I think this is the one that I want. Yeah, intelligence should help with spells, right? Uh, next, select the level of the demon you're recruiting. You have to pay more hell for higher level recruits. All right, can we please get one that's level 9,999? It's free, after all. There's a limit of what you can select. If you want to recruit a higher level demon, you'll have to be equally strong. So if I want to hire a strong demon, I have to get stronger. Okay, so it looks like I can... Ah, that's fine. I can get a level 2. Next, you select the personality of the demon. Uh, this will not affect their stats, so choose whatever you like. Oh my god, open-minded. <laughs> In that case, I want someone who's loyal, smart, efficient, and works hard, doesn't complain, and will work for free! That's impossible, dude! So, open-minded healer, saintly healer, or pregnant healer. <laughs> We're gonna go with open-minded. Oh my god! All the options! And finally, select the color. This won't affect their stats, so choose whatever suits you. Oh. Actually, I, I like the pink hair. I'll start recruiting with your selected requirements. If there aren't any problems, select yes. When you approve, you'll be charged for the hell, so make sure everything is correct. It's free this time, so I won't lose any hell. Oh my god, I understand that it is free. <laughs> Yuri has been recruited. Okay, my, the maintenance on the Dimension Gate has just finished too. We have replenished our forces for now, so I'll let you decide whether we're going to progress or continue to recruit. Before you go into battle, make sure you don't forget to equip the recruit first. Don't send them out into battle unarmed. Okay, so we're going to hire somebody else. We have a healer. A uh, cleric. Uh, also, how can you tell that this is male or female? I mean, seriously, that they both kind of look the same. This, yes, there is a difference. But that one, no. This one, yeah, I could believe that too. Uh, I think I want one of these. Hey, I can go with average. That's not bad. But I'll just get another incompetent one. Uh, rename bonus uh, HP. Oh my god. Rapid movement. I could do speed. Make her able to move like a lot further. Level 2 won't hurt. Lively. Tomboy and hungry. I like that one. Okay. Hire another character. We're gonna sort of. We're just gonna go after each of the types that I want. So now we're gonna get a witch. Frankie, I like that. I like Frankie. Again, we're gonna go for incompetent. Uh, and we're gonna go for intelligence. Level two. Okay, so element type. That is actually pretty good. 
think with the first one, I'm going to go with fire, just because I feel like that's going to be the most useful. Airhead, naive, and wicked. Pink, spin the hell. And I think there's one more type of character for me to hire. Yeah, let's get a lady fighter. <laughs> Thigh highs. Actually, let's see if I can get something different. Melody, Janelle, Dominique, Mickey, Hillary, Buffy. Yes. <laughs> uh, incompetent. And then let's give this one an attack bonus. Level 2. Energetic lady. Aiming for s aiming for ace lady. An effort lady. Aiming for ace. Uh, number 2. Yes. Yes! All of the yes. Anyway, there we go. There's some hired characters. Uh, Kunichi has been added to the special content shop. Sorcerer has been added. Uh, actually, let's save. Welcome to the data shop. Collect all the items scattered through it. Oh, never mind. This is something else. Memories? Oh, there we go. <laughs> let's let's learn how to save, shall we? Okay, let's move in an isometric world. Uh, what's the special content thing got for us? Now you can re receive various special content that has been sent to Disgaea Five here. All of the content is powerful. All the count. Tent is very special. Use them wisely according to the situation. Oh, wow. Let's just get all of them, shall we? <laughs> Nisa has become an ally. Oh, she's cute. If that's a she. And she's also cute. Oh my god. So much stuff. There's 25 of these things. Oh. <laughs> Metallia. Oh, I like the skull helmet. So many things. <laughs> Magical Prinny has become an ally. H252. <laughs> Prinny has become an ally. Okay. Uh, poor, clever Prinny has become an ally. Pringer! Question mark. Has become an ally. And two, Prinny became an ally. Bankai Prinny became an ally. Martian Prinny became an ally. Tyrant Prinio! <laughs> became an ally. <laughs> Value your life became an ally. Gift of Hell. Wait a second. Uh, what? Oh my god. I actually have a million hell. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, let's uh, equip some people. Shall we? Uh, we need to go to the store. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just gonna buy some stuff. I'm just gonna buy ten of the most thing, like the best things that I can get. Because why not? Because that way, hopefully, I can equip everybody with like a uh, uh, a good weapon and a sub weapon, and then when it comes to those armors, I can equip basically everybody with everything that can use them. Need one more. Oh, a million of the. That seems kind of cheap. <laughs> Whatever. And then that's it. Can we go and get anything from the items? Healing items. Yes. Shop. Shop. Buy items. Gun. Fairy dust. I might as well buy, like, a whole bunch of these. Uh, just because. It seems incredibly cheap to be able to do this. Because I still have so much money. <laughs> okay, before I get way too crazy with this stuff, let's just go in here and let's start equipping our characters. Okay. Let's go with swords and then uh, let's... Okay, you're definitely getting the Cation Knife, and your sub-weapon will be... Magic Hand. Armor is... Defend- yeah, let's go Pot Lid. Oh, okay. Wrinkly clothes and glasses? Yeah, because I don't think... Oh, the slippers and the power belt. Intelligence and hit. Uh, this is... I'm actually going to give him those. Okay, there we go. Let's just move on and start equipping everybody else, shall we? So, what else is she good with? She's good with guns and bows. So, let's give her the thorny bow. And then she needs... Definitely this one because of accuracy. And then. This wouldn't be bad. And then the slippers. Actually, no, we'll give her the pot lid. Whatever the song is, I like it. It's very chill. Okay, let's uh, arrange them by level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, but his stats are all low. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I have a lot of people. Uh... So we got Yuri as a healer. Alright, we're just going to spend some time and just equip some people, shall we? Change your character's abilities. Let's not worry about that just yet. 
You get a magician to stick. You're also good with a bow. So let's give you a bow. Glasses are definitely a help to you. I could equip her with more glasses, couldn't I? I think everyone's gonna get basically like glasses, power belt, and pot lid. <laughs> it just seems about about right. Uh, and then we are definitely getting a fist. And then we should give you. I think a sword would be the best option. And then we'll give you... The slippers? Yeah. There we go. Then Frankie, our red mage. We need a wand. Definitely getting the cute wand. Sub-weapon, what else would she be okay with? She'd be okay with a gun. Okay, that's interesting. So, this one, it has like an actual thing. But this one has like a higher hit and a higher speed. Let's go with the water pistol. It seems slightly more useful. Uh, and then let's do glasses, slippers, and a pot lid. We have Buffy, a lady fighter, uh, who needs. Let's give her the spear. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, the next one we can do a sword for the next one. Power belt for sure. And blue slippers. Okay, so... I do like the maid. Apparently it's like, it's much more... Why is it so rare? Okay, what else is she good with? She's basically pretty proficient with a lot of stuff. I could give her a sword if I wanted to, or a, I could even give her a wand, but we'll give her, we'll give her a sword. And a pot lid. Oh my god, it's girl Laurel. <laughs> that is definitely interesting. I feel like you should keep this weapon. Uh, what else are you good with? A sword. Actually, do I have an axe? Yeah, here we go. Axe. Nail bat. Pot lid. Oh, some of these other clothes actually have, like, a special thing. Like, this one has coach. Interesting. Well, you're going to get a power belt for sure. And slippers. So far away. <laughs> uh, you're definitely going to keep that thing, too. Jesus Christ, these characters that they gave me are ridiculous. You're getting a sword. I feel terrible giving you such a terrible weapon.
Yeah, again, like crazy ass weapons. Uh, she's good with a paw. So, let's yeah, let's give her another another paw. Uh, wait, she, oh, she is a witch, but. Should I just give them a power belt? I, I don't, I kind of don't know what I'm doing just yet. <laughs> but I do kind of need to give each of these characters something. Um. I might as well. Some of these guys are going to have to keep with the stuff that they have. <laughs> I'm wondering if the, unf if the uh, secondary thing is actually going to really become of any use. This guy has crazy stuff. <laughs> we should give him a power, a slipper, and glasses. <laughs> uh, okay, all I need to do is make sure that these guys have weapons. But it looks like they're going to have at least something because... They came that way. So, let's just go with what we got. That's already a lot of stuff. Let's save. <laughs> I like how it's called give up. <laughs> okay. Where do we want to go, dude? Is there anything else in this? Might as well just continue on in the same area, right? I'm just gonna play for a little bit longer. I think we'll probably get through this in like one more. And uh, depending on how long we go, I have to be somewhere at 10. But I think I might actually keep going with this one at least a little bit longer, uh, as far as a series goes. Uh, yes. How's that? I've reached my limit. It's like a mix between a Wolverine and a wrestler. He's out of breath before the battle even starts. <laughs> Looks like this is all a big misunderstanding, but I doubt he's gonna let us leave without a fight. Oh, Sir Kilia, you're eating again? Acting so casual before fighting an overlord. Now that is my Sir Kilia for you. <laughs> Actually, no. I think I remember this. You can basically pick up a character and, and then throw them in the direction that you want to. Okay, I understand lift and throw. Very useful, dude. But monsters like us can't perform the lift command, dude. That means we don't have a future. No, does that mean? <laughs> don't worry. Monsters have their own specialties. Instead of lift, monsters have Montos. Like throw, destination of Montas is set for you. 
You won't be able to hold the humanoid up, so be careful. So we have Montas? All right, I'll do some tossing, dude. Also, if you throw a unit on top of another, of an ally monster, the monster will form a receive. Receive, dude? When a receive happens, the monster will bounce the unit in the direction it's facing, equal to its throw range. Also, unlike throwing, receiving doesn't count as an action for the monster. By using this effectively, you can throw a character really far. That's amazing! Seems like our future is looking bright, dude! However, pretty who are tossed Montas by Montas will explode. Be careful. Alright! Uh, let's attack you. I need another person. At least she's finally wearing the bunny outfit in the actual battle. Let's see if I can get her to throw this one. Lift. Merku. Throw. There we go. That's awesome. What do you mean you don't want to? You're gonna do what I say. Hey. See if I can't throw another buddy up there. Lift. Buffy. Throw. Oh good, I can actually attack them. That's awesome. Uh, let's see if I can get somebody else out of here. It's hard to move in this body. <laughs> what type of attack does she have? Okay, that's kind of cool. And maybe I can even get a combo as well. Uh, who else do I want to bring out here? Let's just leave it at this for right now. And then let's execute. Oh, hey, nice. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Wait, what are these? Oh, I, can, I think I can pick these up and throw them. Maybe. Or I have to attack them? I'm not quite sure. Oh, okay, I can pick them up. Can I use it as a weapon? Not necessarily, but I can at least get them out of my way. So let's lift these ones. Kind of sucks that I can't actually throw them on top of them. Oh, there's a treasure up there, too. Might as well try and get it. Actually, let's move a little bit closer. 
and see if I can't attack him with uh, with her magic. Uh, damn. <laughs> I keep on selecting, selecting the wrong spot. And it doesn't look like I can actually do any of that. So why don't I move her in front of this one? Have her lift Yuri and then throw. But now I have to move this other one. Attack Logan. Throw up here. I know that they're weak. Attack. Logan. Okay, let's go with that. And then let's move you. Will your attack reach? No, it's like barely too short. Let's get somebody else out here just in case. <laughs> I like that pretty thing that she's got. <laughs> Wait, did she just say what I think she just said? <laughs> hey, and there's a chance of a uh, combo attack too. I like that. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, it feels unfair to use any of that. <laughs> That was it. All right. Move. Attack. Joss. Move. Attack. Sean. Uh, let's move behind the female Larl. Attack Sean. Let's move you. The same way, because I think you have a ranged attack, too. Yeah, okay. And... Execute! Sweet. I feel like this is really unfair. <laughs> Of course she's the MVP. She did the most damage. Skip what demo? Oh. He definitely looks like a wrestler slash X-Man. Wait, is she still married? No, it's more like we're husband and wife. 
How did you jump to that conclusion? Okay, no, she's, she didn't get married. She just wants to be married. To not void dark. So don't you think it'd be more efficient to work together? I can't see how working with someone who has no fighting experience would be efficient. I will make sure I never drag you down. Well, we do have lots of people on our team that'll probably help. What you're saying and what you're doing are pretty contradictory, don't you think? <laughs> well, that's because I'm a demon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kill ya! We can use the quest shop, dude! The quest shop is now open. There are already lots of quests from many different netherworlds. Does anyone want to handle these? Anyone, please? Oh man, that looks so busy, dude. Kill you. You need to hurry up and help them. Aren't you guys gonna help? No. It's better we leave these jobs to skillful people like you. I mean, we're pretty, dude. Uh, look at this quest, dude. Um, discover Killia's weakness. The reward is one million sardines. I'll do it, dude! Leave it to us! <laughs> Kill ya. We can now use the request form, dude! Okay. Well, sadly, that's gonna have to do it for right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, we will... I'll come back with this. Uh, I might be playing a little bit of this on my own, perhaps, uh, just to get myself a little bit further in the game. Uh, I doubt that I'll continue on with the story necessarily on stream. Uh, this will just be one of those games that I might just play and uh, be showing off certain parts as to where I am certain times. But aside from that, I don't think that it's really going to be that much. Um, it's just such it's such a long and involved game. I mean, it's, it's kind of perfect for streaming, if you ask me. But... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to make this like an ongoing series. But anyways, we'll see you guys later. Have a great night, and uh, until next time, <laughs> bye for now.